different series of rabbit. Yeah, for Chinese New Year, this is the year of the rabbit. We hope you're going to follow along with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, at the end we're going to color with our Art for Kids Hub markers. You don't have to use the same markers. You can use different markers or even colored pencils or crayons. And we're also using marker paper because we're using markers. All right, you ready to start? Yes. <laughs> Let's first draw our rabbit's nose right in the middle of our paper and a little towards the top so that we have room for the body. So I'm going to draw the letter V right about here. Then we're going to draw the top of the nose. And then let's color in that shape. Looks like an upside down triangle. Now we can draw our rabbit's mouth. I'm going to draw a U. It starts in the middle, just below the nose. It goes to the left, and then we're also going to do the same thing to the right. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle right here for one eye, and the same size circle over here for the other eye. Yeah! Now let's draw a small circle in the top left of each eye. This is to make the eyes look shiny. We're going to leave this little circle white, but color in the big circle. That part we sped up, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Especially during any part of the video, we might go too fast. So you can always pause and even rewind if you need to. Okay, now let's draw the top of our rabbit's head. I'm going to start here on the left side, and we're going to draw a upside down U that comes around like this, and then back, back down. And we're giving our little rabbit kind of a forehead. Yes, <laughs> good job. Then let's draw a little sideways W, letter W, on the side of each cheek for the little fur sticking out. And then we can draw our little rabbit's chin. I'm going to turn my paper sideways so it's a little easier. I'm going to draw a curve that goes underneath the mouth and connects to the other side. Let's give our rabbit a traditional Chinese hat. We're going to just draw another upside down U shape right above the head. <laughs> Then we can draw a little line at the bottom of the hat. And we can also draw another little bump on top. Then let's draw two curves, one here and one going the other way. And also let's draw another curve on each side. It doesn't really look like a rabbit though. What are we missing? Ears. Yeah, the really long ears. Let's start right here next to the hat. I'm going to draw a curve that comes up to the left and also the same curve up to the right. Yeah, and then let's draw another curve that starts up here and we're going to curve down and connect into the head and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we can also draw the inside of our rabbit's ear. I'm going to start here, inside the ear. And we're going to follow along, and then right at the bottom, I'm going to get a little thicker. You see how it kind of curves the other direction? Just barely. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. We finished our rabbit's head. Now let's draw the body. We're going to start by drawing the arms and we'll start over here and we're going to draw a line that comes down to the left and also a line that comes down to the right. Then we're going to curve around for the arm and then back up, but we're going to stop before we connect to the chin. And then we'll repeat that same step over here and we want both arms to try to look the same. I want to try to make them look the same, same width, same length. Let's also add two little lines for the fingers on each hand. Now let's also give our little rabbit a traditional shirt. I'm going to start here and draw a little line across for the sleeve and a little line across for the sleeve. Then let's also draw a little V for the collar or the neck right under the chin. Okay, now let's draw the rest of the shirt. We're going to draw a line that comes out on each little hand. And then we're going to connect those two lines together with another line. Okay, then let's draw the body. We're going to draw a small little U shape that comes down 
across, and then connect back up. And then let's draw the feet. I'm going to draw one little foot here on the left. It kind of looks like an oval shape, but only part of it since it's underneath his belly or her belly. Then we're going to draw the same foot over here on this side for the right foot. Yes! And then let's also draw two little toe lines on each foot. And we can also draw a little tail sticking out to the side. Let's also give our rabbit a money envelope, one of those red envelopes. And we're going to draw a little line that comes out from the side. Then we're going to come down. And we can also go back in, and if we're below the hand, we can go to about there, and then connect back into the hand. Yes, we did it! Oh, let's draw a little sideways V for the top of the envelope. Awesome, we finished drawing our New Year's rabbit, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Like we mentioned before, we're using our Art for Kids Hub markers. If you have the same set, you can use the same colors that we're using. I have 182, this is a light blue, that we've used for the inside of the ears and also to trace around our little rabbit. Because our rabbit is white, we use the light blue to add some shading. Then we're using 35 yellow and 15 red. The yellow I'm using for the hat, and also we're gonna add a little design down the shirt. You can do this with me. We're using the fine tip part of the marker. We're gonna draw a line that goes straight down the front of our little shirt. This is a traditional shirt. And then we're gonna draw lines that go across this way. So I'm trying to make them a little thicker just so they show up. I'm going to go all the way down this shirt. Maybe we'll just do three, and we could do some more all the way down. There we go. And then on each side, I'm going to add a circle on each side of these little lines. And we'll do that all the way down as well. Then I'm going to switch to my red marker and we're going to color in the rest of the shirt red and also the little money envelope. Okay. Oh, and the hat. Let's fast forward again. Good five, Dad. You did a great job in your drawing. <laughs> you did a great job too, Austin. Thank you. I love how they turned out all colored in. I hope our art friends will pause the video to match your same coloring. You can also color your drawings any way you want and even add a background. Yeah, you can have fireworks or more rabbits. Oh, that would be awesome. Lots of fireworks and maybe even some lanterns. We would be a lot of fun drawing a rabbit. And we also want to wish you a happy Chinese New Year and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.